Jordan provides a refuge. There is at least stability here. But with the economic collapse back in Syria, more and more women are coming here now to work as prostitutes. We've been told of growing numbers operating in brothels here in Amman and in the border areas. The war has created a desperation that is pushing women to sell themselves for money. Using secret filming, we spoke with several women caught up in the trade. One woman said she'd lost her job in Damascus because of the war. But prostitution isn't the only way young Syrian women become a commodity. Others are married off to older men from the Gulf for up to £2,000, money to support their families. They can be sexually exploited and abandoned. As this teenager discovered after two months of marriage. I can't describe him as a man. The way he treated me. He treated me savagely. He was a monster. He was hitting me so much. The bruises are still on my body. He changed and said that I don't love you. And I only married you for pleasure. Destitute families approach marriage brokers like this woman, a refugee herself. What do you feel about being involved in making marriages like this? You ask me what I feel about doing this? Ask yourself, how would you feel if one of your children didn't have anything to eat or drink? How would you feel? Answer me and then I'll answer you. And this is what they're afraid of. that you are responsible for what's happening there. What? I'm not Bashar. I'm not this, this bloodthirsty regime. I didn't kill no one. I didn't rape anyone. I'm a good person. I want to convince you today that what is happening there and in other places in the world, you are sharing this responsibility. You are part of the problem. You are part of the reason why this test has fallen on the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the tests take turn. Never think you're secure. One day, Syria was safe. And tests were other places. Now, Syria's turn. Tomorrow, Egypt's turn. The day after, Yemen's turn. The day after that, you never know, my brothers. Because look at the Ummah, my brothers. Look at our Ummah. Look at the Ummah of Islam, the Ummah of Deen, the Ummah of Tawheed. Look where we are now. Look in the hearts of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What do we really have? Is it love of Allah and His Prophet, the Book of Allah, the orders of Allah, or love of dunya and racing and competition over dunya? Attachment to dunya, shahawad, desires, problems, and deen, marjil, on the side. The truth is, my brothers, the concern we have in our hearts for the Ummah of Muhammad وسلم, is not really there. Wallahi, wallahi, there are some people without faith, outdone Muslims outside there, who went to Syria trying to help, out of a human feeling. Not because of Islamic emotion or, you know, God or this or Allah or, or Jannah or 
or feeling responsibility human feelings even these human feelings they're not existing in our hearts sometimes Allah will not ask you what the heads of committees did Allah will ask you what did you do you saw haram you saw corruption you saw facade you saw sin what did you do for Allah's deen